When it comes to projecting your voice, in my experience, people who struggle with this are suffering from a lack of internal space. So what I mean is your rib cage needs to be able to open up. The throat space in the back of your throat, that yawn space, needs to be able to dilate and open or at the, at the very least relax. If you followed me for a long time, especially on YouTube, some of you have noted that my speaking voice is different now than it was then. But if you also look at those videos, I'm collapsed. And it's because, for one, I wasn't totally comfortable. I was apologizing for myself, for my presence. I was getting popular in a way I wasn't used to. There were a lot of comments coming at me, a lot of critiques. I was like, oh my God. And so my voice was higher, my body was collapsed. Over the years, as my technique grew, and as I became more comfortable inhabiting my vessel, my body opened up and my voice very organically opened up as well. Also, here's a bonus. Think scalpel, not bullhorn. So um, it's not, am I imagining, uh, 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 you're not pushing out. Think S energy, Z energy, Z, to find that Z, am I imagining I see in you. It's going to help you find focus to where you're singing strongly and your voice will cut as opposed to you trying to yell it out and sounding like you're yelling. So, and that's another thing I hear a lot of you guys ask me, like, why do... People tell me I sound like I'm yelling instead of singing strongly because you're thinking, huh? And you need to think, huh? I hope that makes sense. <laughs>